Naomi here. Welcome to my channel. In today's episode of Chemistry for Artists, I'm going to share with you how I make my favorite oil painting medium in less than a minute. I'm serious. It's really fast and it's a really high quality medium that I really like. I'm going to share with you after I make it the five reasons why I like it so much um, and see if maybe that might work for you too. And lastly, uh, my little four-legged studio assistant who's, I don't know if you can see him back there. <laughs> He's got an announcement to make. He's pretty excited about telling you, can't wait. So without further ado, let's get into it. So my recipe just needs two ingredients, stand oil, odorless mineral spirits. Let's talk about both of them. Stand oil is refined linseed oil that has been boiled at a high temperature. So the polymerization process has started, which means it's pretty thick. It's also a little bit darker in color than linseed oil, just plain refined linseed oil. However, refined linseed oil will change in color over time as it goes through the oxidation polymerization process, whereas since this is halfway here, it changes less in color. So it's actually more trustworthy than the regular linseed oil. So this is odorless mineral spirits. These are both by Gamblin. It doesn't mean that I am a proponent, adver advertiser for gambling or anything. It's just easy for me to find where I live. Use whatever you can find near you. Gamsol is an odorless mineral spirit. It's a petroleum product that is super refined to take out all the impurities and it reduces the toxicity and the odor as much as possible. Um, I trust it a little bit more than say turpentine. Turpentine is um, a very strong solvent. It works better than Gamsol. It dries faster than Gamsol and it will dissolve more things than Gamsol. However, it is also more toxic. If you can smell turpentine, you have exceeded the permissible exposure level for it. In, um, the permissible exposure level for turpentine is 100 parts per million and the uh, level that you can smell turpentine is 200 parts per million. So if you can smell it, you have doubled your exposure level of what you should be taking in. So that's why I use this one um, and stand oil. So let's talk about ratios. All right, let's make some painting medium. We have our Gamsol, our stand oil. Now what you'll wanna find is a little bottle, something like this. This is an empty Gamsol bottle that, um, just a small one, it has a really great lid that's wet, watertight and airtight. And it um, it just works great for this. But you can use any bottle you can get your hands on. You want to be able to mark it off in some way. Now you want to measure it and measure it in such a way that you can divide it into six equal little marks. See these little marks on here? I've drawn them on to um, make the medium. You want to have one part stand oil to five parts of Gamsol as your lean medium, and you wanna be able to make a fatter medium if you need to. So you could make one part stand oil to four parts of Gamsol or three parts of Gamsol, and the less Gamsol you put in, the fatter your medium will be. All right, so to make medium, it takes like less than a minute. Can you see? This is really syrupy stuff, the stand oil. You just get up to the line and good. Done with that. Now, take our solvent and we'll pour it up to the sixth line. There. Now we'll put the lid on here. You want to find a bottle that has a good water tight, airtight lid. And now you shake. That's it, your medium's made pretty fast. So why is this recipe my favorite? Well, it uses ingredients that are very compatible with oil paint or similar to oil paint. I don't really trust resin very much inside the paint layer. Some people put Damar varnish in their recipe or other things, and I prefer it to stay just 
oil and pigment. And so um, the Gansol leaves the paint layer as it evaporates. And so what's left is the stand oil and that just mixes with linseed oil. And stand oil is basically linseed oil. So I really like that they're similar to the paint layers. It's easy to vary the fat and lean ratio. On that little mixing bottle I showed you, um, you can easily just add more stand oil to the next line up and then put less Gamsol in it. So super easy to change the concentration ratio of fat to lean. An important thing to consider is you always need fat over lean. That's why if your paint layer has completely dried and you use the one to five ratio, you're gonna wanna mix up a fatter one, like a one to four or a one to three ratio, one part fat to three parts Gamsol or something like that so that the higher fat concentration is on the surface. Always more fat on the surface than what is underneath. So you want to make sure you start with not too much fat on the bottom layer so that you have room to, to go in a higher level. So it's conservationally sound. The stand oil is actually is more conservational than even linseed oil itself, which is kind of like what's been the gold standard for conservation. It does yellow over time, and that's kind of like accepted in the oil painting community as just what happens. Um, however, stand oil oil um, yellows less over time than even linseed oil. So I like it and trust it more. The consistency of the medium, there's a slight stickiness to it because the stand oil has that... Um, Polymerization has already started on it, so it has that sticky feel like honey. Paint goes across the canvas, it the it grabs onto the canvas a little easier than if it's just straight linseed oil and Gamsol mix. That is more like a oily and it's slippery. Um, and it and I can it feels a little bit more out of control where this medium with the stand oil has a little more control to it, and I like that. And then lastly, the dry time doesn't get too crazy. It doesn't slow it down too much or speed it up too much. Um, it's almost similar to straight out of the tube. Um, if it was just Gamsol, it would speed up the drying process. If it was just stand oil, it would really slow down the drying process. But because it's um, they're mixed together, I feel like they kind of like cancel each other out. And so the drying process seems to be the same as paint out of the tube. And to me, that's comfortable because I'm used to that. And um, yeah, that's why I like this medium. That's not to say this, this will always be my medium of choice forever and ever. I can be convinced, I can be changed. I'm always looking and open to new things. So if you know of a medium that you really like, could you please comment below? I would love to hear about it and try it out. Bless you. Oh, now you're gonna say hi? Are you gonna say goodbye? You're gonna say goodbye? Oh, that's a loud. That's a loud. Watson, say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye.